Hello, welcome, and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Sassy Squirrel, and on today's nuts episode, I have quite a few nuts to share with you. And along the way, we might have a new friend that joins us. But first, have you ever heard of sous vide cooking? And you're like, I don't know what that means. Well, on today's nuts episode, I am going to teach you how to cook the most juiciest, tenderest chicken. I mean, this chicken breast will be juicy throughout the whole piece, cooked to perfection. So before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and I will have some updated uh, product net finds, so I'm super excited to share those with you. So say goodbye to dry chicken and hello to sous vide. So if you're saying to yourself, Sassy squirrel, what is sous vide cooking? What are you talking about? Well, sous vide in French means under vacuum, but that doesn't explain what it is or how to do it, right? I know when I first heard about sous vide cooking technique, I was like, huh, that sounds very interesting. Tell me more. Well, sous vide cooking includes any kind of cooking that occurs in a temperature controlled water bath. The name itself refers to the vacuum seal bags that the food is placed in before being submerged into the water. The most important thing that sous vide cooking does is it cooks things to a specific temperature. See this device right here? This is a sous vide temperature circulator and will heat up the water to a certain temperature and it will not go any higher than that, which is awesome because you no longer have to worry about over or under cooking your foods. This technique of cooking ensures that your food will be cooked perfectly every time. Sous vide is a super easy and convenient and hands-off way to cook. You can sous vide just about anything, from chicken, eggs, fish fillets, you can make your own hollandaise sauce from scratch, wagyu steaks, beef, pork, key lime pie filling, peaches, and even carrots. That's just a short list. There are so many foods you can sous vide. So there are many different sous vide temperature circulator brands that are out in the market, but I have had my Anova for like over seven years now and I love it. I am so loyal to the brand Anova. Now Anova, they do have three other types of temperature circulator precision cookers to choose from for all of your sous vide needs. Now mine, mine's gonna be a little bit of an older version, but the newer version, they're gonna have anywhere from 750 to 1200 watts. And that just of course makes the water heat up faster. Of course, mine's an older one, so I have anywhere from 600 or 700 watts, somewhere in there. So it takes a little longer to heat the water, but I don't mind it at all. I love my Anova sous vide. But they do have three other types of sous vide cookers from Anova and I'm so excited to share them with you. Let's check them out. Anova Precision Cooker Nano. Now this is a great introduction to sous vide. Now this is a sleek design, a Bluetooth only, offers 750 watts, and it's retailed for 129. Anova Precision Cooker. Now this sous vide is next level up. It has been redesigned for optimal performance. You have your Wi-Fi, so you can push the buttons from your phone, 1000 watts, and it retails for $199. And the last is the Anova Precision Pro Cooker Pro. Premium power and precision. Offers Wi-Fi, has 1200 watts, so it is built for any kitchen, and it retails at $399. To shop for your very own Anova, just go to www.anovaculinary.com. Demo time! So what you will need is a large stock pot or a food safe container that will be for your water bath. Then you're going to need a food safe plastic bag such as a Ziploc bag or a vacuum sealer bag. And then if you're going to choose a Ziploc bag, just make sure that you have about two clips on hand and I'll show you that too in the demo, how you use them. If you have a vacuum sealer, that's cool too. Okay, so insert your sous vide temperature circulator guy in your water bath there, plug it in, and we are cooking sous vide chicken breast. So here is the chart temps for cooking sous vide chicken breast. Now temps will vary for different parts of the chicken, but since we are cooking the chicken breast, this is the chart to follow. So you can see there's a texture, temperature, and timing range. I like my chicken to be soft and juicy, so I have experimented with temps of like 140 to 147 degrees, and I find that 142 is the perfect spot 
spot for juicy chicken. The timing range. You want to cook your chicken breast for about an hour and a half. Do not go over the three hours. If you do go over the three hours, your chicken will be mushy. And nobody wants mushy chicken. Next, we're going to set our thermometer to 142, push start, and I am going to be sous vide Korean style chicken. Now, this is from Forklift, our local grocery store, and it's already pre marinated and it's absolutely delicious. So, you can put it in a Ziploc bag, that's one option, just like so. You just want to make sure that you get all the air out of the chicken, to move it around a little bit, and just make sure all that air is out of the chicken, and then you're ready to go. So, that's one way. And then another way to uh, sous vide chicken is vacuum seal bags. Now, welcome. Welcome to my vacuum sealer. It's industrial restaurant style and it's huge. And we've had this for almost seven years too and we've never had one problem with it. So you can get your vacuum master at www.webrestaurants.com. And the vacuum sealer bags that we use are food safe vacuum sealer bags, just like this one. Okay, so the chicken is in the bag. Let's pop it in here to the vacuum sealer and up close you can really see that air just getting all out there. It's really sucking it all out and pop, it's done. Let's put it in the sous vide bath. And here is our chicken. We're just going to immerse it here. Now this is the Ziploc bag one. So you just want to fold the bag over and then it'll just take two clips and clip it there to the water bath. And then here is our vacuum sealed chicken. We're going to immerse that here into the water. And there is no difference at all in taste, at least in my experience, with Ziploc bag versus the vacuum seal bag. I just wanted to show you the two different methods. And let's set our timer, hour and a half and our chicken is in the bath. Look at it, just taking a bath, chilling out. And you can season your chicken any way that you want, marinate it any way you want, it's up to you. Chicken is ready. Let's open up the bag and pull the chicken out and let's start slicing. Oh my goodness, so juicy, so yummy. Cannot wait to eat this chicken. And neither can my cat, although we don't give him any marinated one. He gets the just plain chicken. Yep, <laughs> he's meowing away, he thinks it's for him. To learn more about King Max, our cat, click this link above. I made a video about him and you can check out his smooth dance moves too. So this is the chicken, the sous vide chicken. It's all done and it's so, so good. So normally I would give this chicken a crust, but I didn't do that this time. But you can sear the chicken with your favorite tool. I mean, just look at that in slow motion here coming up. Mmm, all the herbs and spices and so juicy and so tender. Oh, we just love, love sous vide chicken. And it is ready. Let's check it out. And you'll probably hear Max in the background. He knows chicken's ready and he wants some. Oh my gosh, that is just... Oh god. Mmm. Chicken. You gotta try sous vide. Yes, it's dinner time. Okay, I have to share with you this product nut find. It is so good. It's by Tattooed Chef. It's rice cauliflower pad thai. And we love to have this rice cauliflower with our sous vide chicken. To learn more about Tattooed Chef products, click my video link up above. So just toss your cauliflower rice into a skillet, let it cook there, and then when it's just about done, I like to pop my chicken right on in there and just stir it up a bit. I only leave it in there for, I'd say, about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. I just like to give it a little bit of a warmth to it. And then it's ready. It's gonna be so yummy. And oh, I have to share with you another product nut find. So this is Thai dressing, and it's from Forklift, and it's absolutely delicious. Oh, so good. Cannot wait for dinner. So I have my sous vide chicken, my sesame thai dressing, and tattooed chef pad thai cauliflower rice. Okay, time to rate product nut finds. So any products that I find, recipes that I find, places to travel, well, I call them my nuts. They're my finds. And I love rating my product nut finds. So it's on a scale from one to five. One, not satisfied with this nut, not satisfied with this product, to a five nut, extremely satisfied, love this nut. First product nut find I'm going to rate is the Innova Precision Cooker for the best sous vide. Of course, I give this 
five nuts. We are so happy with the Innova. Like I said, we've had it for seven years and it's never given us any problems. Oh, look, look, I have a friend. It looks like a dancing squirrel. I think I'm going to name him Nibbles. <laughs> Hello, nipples. Okay, back to my net rating. Highly recommend if you just want to try sous vide and you want really good, good meat, like cooked to perfection, where you don't always have to keep an eye on it at all because the temperature water bath just does it for you, then definitely get your Innova Precision Cooker. Second product net find is the Vac Master, the restaurant industrial powerful Vac Master. Five nuts. Like I said, we've had this for a while too. Never had any problems. And we save a lot on our grocery bill. It's just really efficient. We vacuum seal everything. Oh, look, Nibbles. Yeah, you think it's awesome too. Look at you go. Go dancing. Go, Nibbles. Third product nut find, Tattooed Chef Rice Cauliflower Pad Thai. Yep, five nuts. Now you can get this Pad Thai at Sam's Club and you can also get it too on the website at TattooChef.com. Even Nibbles gives it five nuts. I love his dance moves. And the last product nut find, Thai sesame dressing from Forklift and the Nugget. We love this dressing, five nuts. It's so yummy, excellent for salads and chicken, has a deep flavorful peanut taste and not spicy at all. With just a hint of lime, it's very savory. Oh, oh, excuse me, Nibbles. You're kind of like in the middle of my review. You can go to the side there. Yeah, okay, thank you. Back to my review. I need to learn how to make this dressing because we buy it a lot. Whew, I had a lot of product nut finds to share. Okay, see you later, Nibbles. <laughs> oh my goodness, Nibbles, you are so adorable. I love your dance moves. <laughs> and I have a friend now to the show. Okay, sorry, getting a little squirrely there. Back on track. So that is how you make sous vide chicken breast. It's super, super easy. So no more fear, no more worry of is my chicken undercooked, is my chicken overcooked? No, you pop it into the sous vide and it will be cooked to perfection. And what I love too about sous vide cooking is that if you have guests over, it's like, okay, whatever I'm gonna cook, I'm just gonna pop it right on in there. And you know, when it times up, serve. And my guests, they love when we sous vide cooking. And you can sous vide cook anything. I know when I first tried chicken breast, I was like, whoa, that's amazing. What else can we sous vide? And we did. So definitely get your precision cooker Anova today and you can sous vide. We love our precision cooker. Thank you, Anova. Oh, I highly recommend a YouTube channel called Sous Vide Everything. His name is Guga and he is amazing. He sous vides everything and goes into the technique and just really, really fun. You'll spend many hours just watching his shows and like drooling over his food. So definitely check out his YouTube channel, Sous Vide Everything. I'm so excited that I got to share this cooking technique nut find with you, and I will be back soon with another nut find to share with you. Bye.